Hi, I'm Steve Pettit from the Steve Pettit Ministries, and our band has just produced a, an incredible recording in Nashville, Tennessee. We began this ministry in August of 2023. Formerly, I was both a college president and a full-time evangelist. And we gathered together to start this ministry for the purpose of spreading the gospel message. By the gospel, of course, we talk about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, our Lord, who died on a cross for our sins so that we could have eternal life as a free gift that is received by personal faith in Jesus Christ. And that's the heart of both our music and message. The individuals that came together were young people that I had known in the university where I served as the president. That includes Mr. Carson Aaron on guitar, Jack Ritter on the banjo, Savannah Lacey playing the fiddle, Luke Bomar on the bass, and then our two female singers, Kirsten Curling and Brinley to Kelly. So one of the core aspects of our ministry is the creating of music and it is something that we we love and we've given ourselves to it like the old testament levites who practiced and played their music day and night we started rehearsing in august and one of the things that we love so much was the the ability to create music god is the creator and he's allowed us to share in that creation that will ultimately bring him glory and so we started working on our songs First of all, with arranging some older songs and then, of course, writing some new songs. Carson has written three songs. The CD title, which is Unite My Heart, is one of the songs that he wrote based on Psalm 86.5, or our heart being united to the Lord. And then our fiddle tune was written by our, our banjo player, Jack Ritter, entitled Spider on the Banjo. And I know you're going to really enjoy that. We then went out and we began to play these in services and concerts. We played in 48 churches and 35 concerts this past fall. And uh, this was the way that we prepared for the recording. When we decided to do a recording, God allowed us to work with a world-class fiddle player and a first-class Christian, Mr. Andy Lefwich. Andy is a studio musician, played for 15 years with Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder, and he brought together his own set of friends that he's worked with over the years who are either Grammy winners or Grammy nominees. That includes Byron House on bass, Cody Kilby on guitar, Mr. Rob Ikes on the dobro, and Dave Hagen, who is our sound engineer. We recorded at Watershed Recording Studio in Nashville and it was an incredible experience in every way. Musically, being able to play with these professionals, relationally getting to know each other and the connection that we had. I think for us professionally, it raised everybody's level up. Emotionally, it was an incredibly joyful experience. And then spiritually, because we know that there's a spiritual connection between all of us that are playing and then ultimately, those songs that will go out and touch the hearts of people. I told our group that I've seen it for years that God uses music and song to touch the hearts of people and whatever touches the heart will change the heart. And so our hope is that our listeners will be moved closer to God, that they will come to a greater understanding of the gospel, and most importantly, they will come to know the love of God that is in Jesus Christ.